Right, so it's another bore test. Today we've got Kevlar jeans. Now they're for, designed for motorcycles and they've got a layer of uh, Kevlar woven into the denim exterior. So they look like regular jeans, but they've got Kevlar lining. We want to see how they uh, hold up to some arrows. Um, I do think that Kevlar will be pretty good. Uh, we all know that Kevlar is very cut resistant, but um, uh, if it will stop an arrow traveling at quite a high velocity, uh, that's a different sort of test. We're using four different types of arrows. Do you want to? Yep, I'll take the biggest one first. <laughs> biggest one first. That's how I like them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a war arrow. This is really designed for big bows. We're talking 100 pound plus. Bigger bows than we've actually got, to be honest. In excess of, <laughs> well in excess of 100 pound plus. But it's uh, very sharp and it's got a, probably can't see it. We'll do a close up layer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's got steel bodkin points. So that should easily go through it. Next we've got a... Should be the... Yep, we'll work down and pounded. Nope. Okay, Ooh. that one. Work down and pounded. So this is a, uh, a bamboo arrow with a broad head on it. It's spine for a 110 pound bow. Um, so that's perfect for my horse bow. Next one. I've got straight in a stick. <laughs> Next we've got a, um, look at the size of this big old leaf, <laughs> leaf shaped uh, broadhead. This is gonna be a bit wider. I imagine it's gonna slow it down a little bit. It probably will, but so um, we I... shall see because that's designed for an 80 pound draw weight. Which is perfect because we've got this here. Which is good for the long bow. Nice. <laughs> and then finally, we've got a uh, another broadhead, the same as the bamboo arrow, um, but designed for a 55 pound bow. It's also got a little bit of uh, electrical tape, just to add a little bit of weight for added penetration. Penetration. <laughs> Which is what we're all about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to be using this, the three standard bows that we like to use. Unfortunately, the Flemish longbow won't fit in my car and it's <laughs> pieces <laughs> shout out to spare bow. so we're going to be using the 80 pound longbow we're going to use the 55 pound falco and we're going to use the 110 pound horsebow the beast the beast the pig so let's see how we do 55 pound let's focus 55 pound 80 pound 110 pound and the big boy <laughs> look at this monster he's huge <laughs> You're this gonna... bow is ridiculous. Can't even draw it. Well, you hit some gene. That was in the sweet that spot. That was in the sweet spot. <laughs> no! It hit it so hard the GoPro fell down! <laughs> it should still have the impact, shouldn't it? I don't know. Okay, that's a definite hit. Okay, so inside this target, we should probably say we've got um, a big, big chunk of polystyrene which has been wrapped in cardboard and then in loads of tape and stuff. So it's a pretty thick target. It's... It probably weighs about a kilo. Yeah. So it's not as much as, you know, <laughs> Alex's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just show the inside? Can we get the, the inside of this? You tie it up. I tied it up. I didn't want to escape it. So here's the Kevlar lining. That's the Kevlar lining. And we should have gone straight through it on this. You, you sort of can see that we haven't gone through Kevlar there. Yeah, definitely have. And the through penetration there. on that. Look at it. All the way through and punched out the back. There is no Kevlar on the front though. No, just a bit of webbing. Yeah, that's for pockets. And cool. Coolness. Keeping cool. 110 pound. 110 pound. War arrow. Not Shoot. messing about. To get a biker. 
That's, <laughs> that's all you need to do to <laughs> penetrate a biker's ass. <laughs> Jesus. We'll have to see how he does in a leather. Well, that was straight on the denim and nothing. 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 I think it's because it's just dangling. It's not one of the weight. Well, you know, let me shoot it. You reckon you can get further? I reckon I can do better. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Nope. Wow. That's denim. And your accuracy. I fudged it. That went straight through denim. Really? All the okay. way through? Oh, that was direct on Kev. <laughs> that was direct on Kev. <laughs> and it just bounced. That was a bouncer. Must be that white head. Must be. You killed him! Right in the butthole. No, it went right through Kev as well. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's that's carved a trench through. Mm. Oh no, broadhead. <laughs> oh, no trouble. So that's the penetration? That was from 10 feet away though. That's uh, cheating in my mind. And it's not even as good as the 110 pound war bow. No, the that, war that went through a lot further. That went a lot further and from further away, so. so yeah, not bad, but a little side note from Right, well, that hit, <laughs> skipped through, hit some trees and just kept writhing. <laughs> Let's go for another. All right, this is the 55. So that's definitely Kevlar. We've had it in here yeah. and that's been Kevlar before, so that's definitely it. And it's gone right through the other side. It's actually done the front as well. So, you don't want to get hit by that, and that's a 55 pound bow. We've got penetration from all the arrows, so I think Kevlar's not going to stop it. Okay, in conclusion, um, right, five arrows we used for the three bows. Five arrows? Four arrows. Four arrows. One okay. extra arrow. One extra. <laughs> Your math. <laughs> You've even got the bows there, don't you? They're right there in front of me. They're right there. Um, okay, the, we'll start with the lowest one, the 55. Okay, the 55. The 55 was actually quite effective, we found. Um, Good penetration. Which is kind of shocking, really. I thought, like, if you try using a pair of scissors on Kevlar, you, you blunt the scissors really quickly, unless you've got specialised equipment. And I'm surprised that such a small amount of force could get all the way through, but it did. It's it, moving at about 300 feet per second, isn't it? And it's got really? a mass of how much? I don't know, because I don't weigh my arrows. But no, can't be much. Know, it's quite a lot of force hitting a small point at the end. True. The pressure there is going to be pretty big. But I'm not surprised it got in. I am surprised at how far it went. Yeah. On the other side. Um, the second arrow, the broadhead. We well, that was hopeless, really. We um, even decided to move it a bit closer. We're from ten feet away. We had some significant penetration, but that's a lot of force and not much in the way of resistance. As you said earlier, what's the point in a broadhead that you need to be 10 feet away to use properly? No, this is, <laughs> if you were going to, I know Kevlar's not in any way historically No, used, but it... But if you were planning to use it as armour, you would need it to be effective, and if you can't get an arrow through it from 10, about 20 feet away, that's not good. No. Then we got, what bow have we got next? We've got the 110, and we've got the bamboo arrow, and then we've got a war bow. A war arrow. Yeah. Right. So, the bamboo. Uh, we never hit on the Kevlar, but we assumed, because the other ones hit, and the amount of force generated by the war arrow, that it would have probably gone. Probably it should good. have worked, yeah. yeah. The only difference, really, is the mass. The uh, mass of the war arrow is so much heavier. It's got to be about twice the weight. The, the force that it hits with is going to be considerably higher. It's going to be travelling slower, though. True. But still, it's going to have the 110 pound weight with the mass. Yeah, it will travel a bit slower, but it's got more weight behind it. It has got and a little weight. It's actually got a smaller point. It's not a broadhead. It's less resistance. So, yeah. so if you're a motorcyclist who wants to avoid <laughs> being shot by archers, probably invest in very thick leather. <laughs> this Kevlar business is not going to help. Thick leather. That sounds like another test. I think it is. <laughs> I'll come 
get my gimp suit. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you soon. <laughs>